Hey all, Kurt Sasso here from TGTF and Expo Canada 2011. We're here at the Reboot booth with, of course, creator, uh, rather artist of, of Reboot, uh, Mr. Jim Shu. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. It's been a busy fan expo. Um, I was one of the artists of Reboot. I worked on season four of Reboot, and that was the one with the Demon Rising movies and the My Two Bobs movies. This was one series that, if you were uh, in the younger generation like myself in the early 90s, you woke up to YTV, you woke up to Reboot, and and you were amazed at the, the amount of, of technology that went into this, especially back in the in the early mid mid 90s. You know, what was it like working with Reboot? Well, I was a fan uh, originally, so I mean, I, I won in Reboot and Toy Story, obviously Toy Story. Uh, those were uh, the two. To, uh, the movie and the television show that inspired me to get into the field. So I, I uh, studied at Sheridan and then moved out to Vancouver to Mainframe. Uh, Beast Machines was my first uh, job in, uh, in the CG industry. And, you know, it was quite a thrill to see that, you know, when they announced that Reboot was coming back after the third season for two more movies and to actually work on something that you're a fan of, well, what could be a greater thrill than that? Yeah, and, and the passion that, that all of the creators, not just yourself, put into those films and into that season was 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 a real good tribute to a series that was was unfortunately canceled shortly after uh, its second season. But either way, it's amazing to see you here. But but you haven't done just reboot, even with these wonderful art books that we have here today and these beautiful prints. What else have you worked on? Well, as I said, I worked on Transformers: Beast Machines at Mainframe. I worked on that. Reboot, of course. Uh, the Spider-Man series that was shown on YTV and MTV. And uh, did I say Action Man? Action Man's another one. I even worked on a uh, MTV Movie Award um, uh, the show with uh, little segments featuring Justin Timberlake as a uh, superhero character. Then I moved on to uh, Core, which is a studio in Toronto to work on the Wild, which was a movie uh, from Disney. And then afterwards, I switched gears a little bit. Instead of working on animation, I worked on in uh, Visual Fest. So I got to work on uh, Silent Hill, on Resident Evil Extinction, Resident Evil Afterlife, a lot of schlock, a lot of uh, horror flicks, um, Death Race, and uh, most recently, Tron Legacy, and Three Musketeers, which is coming out in October. You know, Fan Expo Canada is the largest Canadian convention out there. You know, you have great traffic, amazing people stopping by in their, their cosplay outfits as well. I know I've seen a few reboot uh, characters around too, but what is it about your uh, these these fans that come up to you and, and tell you their, their stories about what they remember of, of reboot? Well, actually, that's uh, it's great that you mentioned that. Um, I started off uh, at the shows promoting my own comic book called Prisonia, and that's the self-published book that I was selling and I would put up a sign with my uh, my credits such as the movies I listed and so they would go through them they'd go cool 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 and then see they'd see Reboot and they'd go oh my god you worked on Reboot and uh, I mean I had an inkling that Reboot had a fan base I even pitched Mainframe uh, while I was there um, to do a, a comic book about Reboot and uh, that didn't actually happen but and I drew this image while I was uh, employed um, at Mainframe and that turned into a poster several years after I left Mainframe because they saw how much passion the fans have, particularly in Canada of course, about Reboot and so I thought, well, you know what oh, I'm a businessman, I'm an entrepreneur I can make a little bit uh, money off of this, so let's get the license for the poster, and the poster turned into the art books and also uh, a second art book, so I've been working on these reboot uh, licenses for the past five years and uh, they've done incredibly well especially in Canada but I've also toured it in the US I've uh, exhibited at San Diego Comic-Con and had great response there so I mean uh, back to your question about what fans say like they just say you know that this was the 
show when I grew up uh, watching, right? After school, or as you mentioned, early in the mornings, it was on at all times of the day. I think because it's Canadian content, YTV, they had to run these Canadian shows and reboot what I was a benefactor of that. And so I think um, you could survey anybody at the show, you get at least half of them were fans of the show. And so that's where I've been able to capitalize on it most. Well, I know we got a huge lineup here. I'm not going to take up any more of your time here, Jim. It's been a real, real honor and pleasure for you to do this interview with me here. I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, but one quick question. When you go home, when you pack it up, what personal experiences are you going to take away from Fan Expo? Well, I think the greatest experience is uh, meeting up with the fans. Some fans have become friends and uh, for instance I've uh, brought uh, one of the co-creators of the show to Fan Expo as well to other shows uh, Gavin Blair and uh, he had never been to a comic book convention and he didn't know what to expect and he's become friends with some of the fans so I mean I think the personal experiences are great the the really funny thing is uh, you know you just meet them once a year right and they're like familiar faces and it's kind of it's, it's very uh, touching and uh, something good to be said about that. Not just uh, about you know the cash, about the sales, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the fans. Thanks again, Jim. Really appreciate it. Have a great time. Cool. It's a big pleasure.